In Charles City, Virginia, David Hula is proving no-till corn can compete just as well as conventional corn. The previous corn yield world record holder, which he achieved in the National Corn Growers Association's 2013 corn yield contest with 454 bushels per acre, has been steadily hitting corn yields above 300 bushels for years. At the 2015 National No-Tillage Conference last month, Hula shared some of his high-yielding corn secrets. Here's a brief overview of what Hula calls his farmer's hand to success. Number one, thumbs up for attitude. The first digit on your hand serves as a reminder for keeping a positive attitude, a success tip he heard from Iowa corn yield record holder Francis Childs. While Hula didn't agree with Childs' thinking at the time, he's now taken the message to mean be willing to change or try something new and keep an open mind. Number two, the index finger, which represents the things you have control over. This is the finger my mom pointed to me when I was doing something wrong, Hula says. It's also the finger that you use to specifically point to what you either had control over and did correctly, or if you did something incorrectly. There are three areas no-tillers have control over, he says. Soil, fertility, and pest management. Number three, the middle finger. The middle finger represents the mechanical component to an operation, Hula says, adding that after the corn planter has gone through the field, a huge percent of that corn yield has been determined because you can't fix any of those problems. Make sure you get that even emergence, get some nutrients out there, and if you can get that picket row fence stand, that's even better, Hula says. Number four, the ring finger, which represents your relationship with your corn variety. Picking the right corn variety is like finding your spouse, Hula says. It is emotionally driven, and if done right, can be rewarding. If done wrong, it can be very costly. He adds that once the planter leaves the field, it can't be fixed. So if a no-tiller picked the wrong hybrid, it's over. Finally, the pinky finger stands for management. It may be little, but it's vital to success, Hula says. I'm task-oriented. I develop a plan, I execute it to the best I can, and I'm going to adjust it. And then, at the end of the year, we evaluate it. We try to analyze the data as we, well as we can to improve for next year. Are you trying anything new with, new with your no-tilled corn this year? Let us know by leaving a comment below or sending me an email at lallen at lesspub.com. Thanks for tuning in, and we hope you have a wonderful week.